So hey what's up guys, Riot Box here and welcome to some more MotoGP 13. So here we go, we're here for some more MotoGP 13, we're going to be doing a race but this time we're going to be doing a Marc Marquez special of this uh, this game. So uh, Marc Marquez in 2013, he did enter the MotoGP class and uh, in his rookie MotoGP season he did take the championship with 334 points and yeah, there's nothing but impressive really you think about it at the age of 20 I guess he uh, took the win he won the uh, Moto2 to the Moto2 championship the year before and second in the year before which is 2011 and then the 125 class took his first championship so overall he now has seven championships six in the premier class no five in the premier class correct myself there one in moto2 and one in 125 which was the equivalent of moto3 now so uh, i thought we did a bit of a celebratory uh video i guess you could say a market special we'll do some of us for some of the riders when they started their career we could talk about it and stuff like that but uh, let's go and let's do a race at, where should we do a race for marquez at hmm try and think what well, his most successful track is probably austin texas quite a long track as well so let's see how we get on here at austin texas mark marquez so in the in his opening season in 2013, he took third place at Qatar, and then won his first MotoGP race at uh, this very track here in Austin, Texas. So uh, there you go, pretty suiting. And then he didn't actually win a, a race then up until round eight, which is the German Grand Prix at Saxon Ring, and then he won four consecutive races, came second for two, and then won another one, and then second got disqualified in <coughs> Austria and uh, yeah so oh, here we go I was just looking at my over monitor then we're into the race let's get out on track Mark Marquez obviously this is MotoGP 13 in the last video we did MotoGP 13 using the 2012 DLC but this time we are using the MotoGP 13 riders so here we go Mark Marquez here uh, where he took his first win in the MotoGP class. Let's see if we can replicate it here. For three laps around here at Austin, Texas. Up the hill then. Late on the brakes. Oh my god, I've cocked that up completely. Okay, let's restart. Right, I won't mess that up again. <laughs> but uh, we'll restart that one. A little mistake into turn one. Like I said in the previous uh, video I did on MotoGP 13. Valentino Rossi, it's a very difficult game getting used to handling on this. So that's all that was, that little mistake there. Quite tight into turn one, someone's already down. Try and dodge him. Um, with Wheelie and Aspargaro. Oh my god, what has gone on there? Look at that, what happened here? So we're just wheelie in, we're wheelie in, wheelie in. Contact, wheelie in. Oh, and we're wheelie, and that guy there, we just clipped the back of him. And, uh, let's get back on track. It's Colin Edwards. Poor Colin Edwards. So, here we go. We're actually finally through the start of the race um, let's see how we go on we're down in p13 and uh, the change of direction on these this game is so slow you'll notice if you go back and replay this that uh, the change of direction is just so slow really slow and some of the ai have just hit the punia the punia Here's Ian Ernie on the Pramac as well. And you see the chain of direction just slow, slow. You have to anticipate it. You have to really turn in early in order for even someone like Marquez who gets the bike over so quick. You just have to really, re oh my god, contact there. And they just turned into us, the classic milestone AI. Right, there we go. Going side by side with this guy, Dupunier. Here we go, up into P10, I will take that. On the brakes. Late as we can. Late, late as we can. It's Pedrosa. Crutchlow on the podium there on the Ducati. That's good. Here we go. Stefan Bradle. Let's see if we catch up to him. We're actually doing okay in terms of pace. We might be on for a winner here today. I'm getting all over these curbs. It's the handling. Handling model. So difficult. You see getting all over the curb there again. Stefan Bradle just up the road. Dovey just a little bit further up as well. So we get through on him. Obviously, Dovi moved from Tech 3 to Ducati in this year. 
Is it Ducati? No, I don't think it is Ducati. It's Hayden and Ducati. What's your wearing move? What what bike is that? Can't really tell what bike that is. But Dovey was on the uh, Tech Three the year before. He is on a Ducati, but I'm not. And it's not the full factory team. Yeah, it is. Huh. My mistake. Here we go. Late on the brakes. Late, late on the brakes. So Nicky Hayden, a Dovey on the factory Ducati. Valentino Rossi next up, and uh, he did move in 2013. He moved from Ducati, where he had that poor run of form with Ducati. Those seasons were awful. And uh, he came back to Yamaha with his tail between his legs to partner up with Lorenzo, the new rookie. One of the young top stars. Obviously, we know he won many championships and is now been at all three factory teams, just like Valentino Rossi has. Obviously, Rossi went from uh, Honda to Yamaha to Ducati back to Yamaha. And here we go, trying to close down that man himself. Crutchlow on the Tech 3 there. Trying to get through. Come on. Crutchlow popping a wheelie. Actually, I should have to put my headphone back in. That's why we went out wide. So Rossi's next up. We're so late on the brakes there. Actually, I must say, this game is a little bit easier on this track. So until you, well, when you get in the S's, it's horrendous, but everywhere else is okay. But it's just that change of direction, so difficult to do pretty quick. Like at the final chicane at Aston, which we saw with Valentino, that could have been a characteristic of that Ducati, but I think it was more the handling model. Come on, Valet, Valet, let's go around his outside if we can. Come on, Valet, Valet. Pause it, let's take a look at the free camera. I want a screenshot for the thumbnail. We've got a screenshot. Let's get back to the action, try not to fall off. See if Valentino comes back at us, but we find our way up into P3. And Danny Pedrosa next on that Honda, our teammate. We've got one lap to try and clear him and then catch up to Lorenzo if we can. We need to try and take the win. We need to do it. This is where Marquez took his first win in the MotoGP class back in 2013. Here we are, MotoGP 13, a track record at 2.045. Oh my God, we're all over the curb. Come on, hunt down Danny Pedrosa. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, I've absolutely clobbered into the side of him. I cannot control this bike, laddie, and look at that. <laughs> look at that crash we caused. Here we go. We just turned in too much, too much peace. And then, oh my god, Danny Pedroza goes flying over us. My god, what have we done? Okay, let's rewind that one. Let's rewind that one. Through the S's. Oh. It's just so difficult through the S's. Just. God, look at the turning. I'm sorry. Don't look at the turning because you can't see it. <laughs> but here we go. Let's hunt down Lorenzo. Come on. We've got to take the win here. Do a true Marquez aggressive ride from the young 20 year old in GP13. Oh, the rear. Look at the rear. Oh, look at the front. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What? Where is he going? Why is he hopping off the bike? Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> He's like, no. Oh, and we save him from crashing into the wall. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> let's settle down. Calm down. We've only got two flashbacks left. Late on the brakes. We can pick up some slipstream from Lorenzo. No pressure. Lorenzo, the young... New top star as well in MotoGP. Marquez versus Lorenzo. Here we go. Late on the brakes. A little bit too late, but we get away with it. We stay on track. Stay on track. Come on, Lorenzo. You are going down. Here we go. Side by side. Let's flick it to the inside. Come on. Oh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. We're through. <laughs> oh, we're out wide. No, this isn't good. Come on. Come on. Recreating his first win. Plotimate corner. We're okay around there. We're out so wide there. Tip it into the final corner. Oh, we've gapped Lorenzo a little bit and... Oh my god, I've completely cocked that up. But here we go, across the line. We're going to take our first win for Mark Marquez. Takes his first win in MotoGP here in 2013. There we go, we managed to successfully recreate it. Obviously, 
a few flashbacks used, but uh, you know you can't really uh, can't really help that. Um, but there you go, the highlights of the race. I'll take a replay actually. I'll take a replay, yeah. There you go, race results. Mark Marquez, followed by Lorenzo, followed by Pedrosa, followed by Mr. Valentino Rossi, and then Cal Crutchlow rounding off the top five. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of this replay to show you what it looks like back on this game. But uh, for now, if you did enjoy this video or want to see more MotoGP 13 or more classic MotoGP games, then do let me know down below in the comments. And uh, I guess for now, I will see you in career mode for the MotoGP 2019 mod. Um, we'll be wrapping up. I think we might have already wrapped up the first season of that, but that'll be returning for Moto2 very, very soon. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.